I sure could use some help. Yeah, hey, man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Hey, what's up, Internet? I've got my old Roomba battery here from my 500 series, and uh, it has gone bad. Or at least I think it has. It's nickel metal hydride. And this is a nickel cadmium pack from an older 400 series. You can buy that actually on eBay too. It's kind of neat. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to put them together, uh, rebuild it like you can rebuild the 400 series pack. And here's how you do it. So take a X-Acto knife and you can just cut a slice right down the side there. And the pack comes out fairly easily. You know, there's obviously tape and stuff holding it. But uh, once that's all pry it apart there uh, it comes out pretty easily so there you got the casing and then here's the uh, here's the cell pack which is kind of neat you can see there's a little plastic thing for uh, I guess so you know you put the battery in correct uh, for some reason I thought that was a bundle of wires I don't know why but anyway uh, yeah uh, I, I put the pack side by side notice hey uh, the part number here and here are like nearly identical I mean I think I, I remember right they actually were but uh, start uh, pulling off this tape uh, you can you should do that on you can use a exacto knife however that takes forever so I just ripped it off with my hands uh, but yeah I set that aside and uh, you'll see later as to why we did that and then oh yeah you can just pull that right out look kind of rip apart but it, it's all right uh, and then uh, pull the rest of the tape off there okay and uh, once you have that off you put it aside and uh, you'll notice on the newer style battery and the older style b battery here and here there's a slight difference where the newer style it's actually actual leads uh, that touch the room but they come in contact and the older style it's actually covered up it has a nickel plate there that was spot welded so that has to come off and so I used some uh, wire cutters and needle nose pliers and as you can see here uh, that's how I took it off and you could use the pliers like that and then you'll scrape it off and get a fairly smooth surface after it's all said and done so now those look the same. I ended up cracking also that one in half right there just to see what was going on with that black thing, the plastic part that pulls out and it looks like there's just a thermal silicone in there so that's neat. Um, also in the newer pack you'll notice the, there's a connection there where on the older style pack it was actually uh, where the wires were soldered on so it's out of series there and we need to put it in series so uh, you can cut up the wires like that and you add over the wires like this and you can just solder it right there do not do this step before taking the nickel plate off or else the battery is going to get really hot and perhaps crack open and start melting all over the place or even explode you have to take that nickel plate off before you do this step and then uh, once that's all said and done you can uh, cap it off with uh, either sh uh, shrink wrap or some more silicone there. I've got some silicone so I was using it and uh, it got messy so wear gloves if you got them. Also there's this white wire that's out of the shot now but um, I believe it's for like a heat sensing. Uh, you want to also shorten that up and cap it off and I use the silicone also for that too. Um, so I shoved it in the hole and then used the silicone and it got in the way of the camera as you can see. So once that's said and done you put uh, the cap back on, that little uh, paper piece and then you'll notice in the center here you're going to need to put some silicone just like it had before uh, on the uh, newer style pack, right? And then you put the plastic piece back in so it's all cased in silicone like it was before when you pulled it out and uh, I'm pretty sure, once again, I'm pretty sure it's silicone. It seems like silicone but uh, if it's not I apologize uh, beware of course you're tearing apart a battery and doing this on your own so uh, take all precautions uh, but yeah once once uh, the pack was all or once that was in I just resealed it and uh, put a piece of tape just over the crack so it would hold together and uh, it went together great seemed fine uh, I actually ended up putting it in the Roomba taking a charge monitoring it making sure it didn't overheat or nothing and uh, everything it worked well uh, even though it's an older uh, pack uh, that was very used, the ones that I replaced with, uh, they last about 20 minutes on carpet or 40 minutes on tile. So it's kind of nice. Uh, anyway, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, be safe. Uh, don't do it stupidly, you know. Don't uh, shock yourself. And uh, I hope that helped.